The hate list has received a lot of recognition across the United States since it was first published in 2009. However, what I think is really cool is the author Jennifer Brown is a graduate of Lee Summit High School. Hate List won the Gateway Award a few years ago, which is the high school equivalent of the Truman Award. Valerie is our main character, and the book begins about five months after a very tragic incident. Valerie and her boyfriend, Nick, had developed what they called the hate list. There were a lot of people in their school they didn't like because of a variety of reasons. And so any time they didn't like someone or they didn't like the way someone acted, they put the name on the hate list. Nick went through a little period where he seemed kind of distant. He wasn't coming to school a lot. One day he did show up at school and Valerie was happy because one of the girls had made her really, really angry. So when she told Nick, he was like, I'll take care of it. What Valerie didn't know was that Nick had brought a gun to school that day and he proceeded to pull out the gun and shoot the girl who had made Valerie angry. Then he continued to open fire on multiple students in the school. The bulk of the story takes place five months later when Valerie needs to go back to school. Lots of people think that Valerie was the one who put Nick up to doing this, that the hate list was Valerie's way of saying to Nick, these are the people that I want you to take out. So this is Valerie's story of coming to terms with what has happened and evaluating her own role in all of this. She has to ask herself, am I partially or even fully responsible for the deaths of all these people?